Hi, and welcome back to another fun resin tutorial. This week I'm showing you the entire process of how I made this pretty and feminine peachy pink coaster set with a matching bowl. It's actually super simple to do, so let me show you how. First things first, let's start by preparing some resin. And I've used crystal resin from Mrs. Colorberry. And I mix slowly for three minutes without creating too many air bubbles, but I mix it enough so both parts are mixed well. And this will avoid curing problems later on. To clean your molds, you can either wash them under the sink with some soap and warm water, but to get rid of any glitter residue, I use some painter's tape to avoid scratching the base of my molds. And if you find any greasy spots, use some rubbing alcohol and a soft cloth. For this set, I'm using Liquiments Pigments for Jasmine and Resin in the colour Shape and Pigment Pastes Crystal White and Dusty Pink. It's one of my favourites. So I try and reuse all of my cups at least around 10 times before I throw them out. So these are used, but they're all dried and they're ready to go. I add a few drops of pigment into a little resin and these pigments are super concentrated so a little goes a long way. Now I'm adding some flamingo cracks into the center of the coaster on top of a drop of clear resin. And then I'm going to add my main color around the rim of the coaster. This is the color shape and I add some clear resin in the center just before adding spirals of the dusty pink and the white in and any which way will do. Don't overthink it, just have fun. And to finish it off, I always add some clear resin in the middle until the mold is filled up to the top. Pop any bubbles that are on the top of the surface and then patience. This is the hard bit, waiting for it to cure. To match the coaster, and because I have some resin left over, I'm using the exact same process to create a little bowl. And for fun, I added some fancy swirls at the end in white.
So I did this in the morning and I waited until the evening to shape it into a ceramic bowl. And you will need to wait until the resin is about semi-cured but still pliable. And if you want to see a full tutorial on how I make these cute little bowls, I'll leave the link in the description under this video and at the top on the right. So to get this coaster out of the ceramic bowl, you just need to pop the air under the coaster. It's much like a jar of pickles. So I use a scalpel or a palette knife carefully until it releases. And you do want to go careful, you don't want to scratch the bowl. Unmolding this coaster, this is always the most exciting part for me. No matter how many times I've made these in the past, every time is the ultimate element of surprise and you never know what you're going to get. I had some leftover resin in the pink and the clear and I never waste resin if I can help it. So I got out one of my smaller crystal molds and I made enough for just one little mini cluster. And the best way to get these out is to wiggle it really carefully until it comes out of the mold. And look at that, it's a perfect match. So I like a little bit of gilding, so I gilded the coasters and the bowl with a highlighter pen. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and picked up some resin tips and I will see you all very, very soon.